evening everyone welcome to the long reach tv network tonight we have got two powerhouse who are going to talk to us about demystifying network marketing in studio with us we have got maggie and obviously our sd vivian mukome but before we go further into the interview i would like maggie to introduce herself maggie good evening everybody i am so honored to be here today thank you guys it's a um, pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm Megi Muluzi. Um, I come from Soweto, born and bred in Soweto. Uh, I've got four siblings. And um, so I went, I did my private schooling. I mean, my, my primary schooling goes Soweto. And then I was one of those fortunate people who got a scholarship to go to St. Mary's School for Girls. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. And um, after that, I went to UCT. I've got a social science degree, but I did not do anything in social science. So as part of my degree, I did computer science and math as well. So I went on, I started working as a developer because I did some programming courses and I've been a developer almost all my life. So I'm an IT software developer. I've done develop anymore. I've moved in the ranks and I became a manager for a CRM team, but now I've joined a very big company that I will not mention and I love my job, okay? And um, yeah, what else do you wanna know about me? Wow, I'm, I mean, I must say, I'm standing here with mm. two women who have made it within the IT industry. I don't know what the developer does, but I mean, it's such a it's such an honor yeah. to have the two of you here. Um, so I guess there must be something special about women who are specialists in IT. Of course. We know is it there all. Like a genus, <laughs> is there is a genus required that makes you successful in network marketing? You know what? Network marketing for me did not, um, <laughs> I was not all about network marketing okay. because I always looked at it as who does that? You know, it seems yeah. like something for losers. Who yeah. does network marketing? You know, I, I remember that there was this lady um, in our estate and who used to say to me, may you come for a presentation? I only knew network marketing to be about presentation. And for me, it was such a low class thing of to do, you know. Yeah. And um, she used to say to me, when she invited me, I would say, I, 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 I was Caroline, and now I'm going to study. I'm doing my research for the MBA. I said, Maggie, you are still studying. You could make money now. And I didn't get it then. Make money now. No. Network marketing, talking to people. I, I, no, no, no. Mm. And you know that lady, she built her house, cash, wow. from network marketing. How long ago was this, Maggie? Sure. It was less than 10 years ago. Okay. Yeah, when, just when we moved in, yeah, about, no, not, not, about 12 years ago. Wow. Oh, wow. And so this has been around for that long? For long. No. Mm. What, Maggie, what, what was your understanding of network marketing at that time? My understanding was you must present to people and try and convince people to get something that they probably don't need. And it was just, and just not for people who were not professionals like me. <laughs> It was one for me. Yeah, yeah it was. SD, what was your, your understanding of network marketing? Um, you know, I'll be honest, uh, fate uh, led me into this industry. Uh, I didn't wake up and say, I want to be a professional network mm. marketer. I didn't even know what is that. Mm. Um, like Maggie, I used to look down at this profession. Um, to me, this was a profession for losers or for people who were looking for shortcuts in exactly. life. Exactly. And yeah. also being an IT techie, I mean, I knew how people perceived this industry after all not everyone could make it in there i mean we all knew that only you know the a students um had a chance to make it into mm. this field so when you told me about convincing people to join <laughs> and doing presentations that wasn't for me mm. um i looked down at it and i think it's because of how it was portrayed mm. you know and the people that introduced me to this industry i'll be honest when i looked at them you see, hear what I'm saying? I'm seeing them. Yeah, them. exactly. <laughs> uh, when I look at them... And you are one of them today. <laughs> exactly. I, I didn't want to do it. I didn't see myself doing that, you know. Yeah, so I looked down at it. Uh, wow, for that's... Many years. It's very interesting that you say when you looked at them, you mm, didn't want to no. be like them. What was it about them that you did not... that you did not want in your own life? how it was presented um i'm a very consecutive and reserved person you know i'm not the person who will go around and talk about my bank balance mm -hmm. you know or talk about money carelessly and coming from a banking sector 
I mean, where you've been taught how to treat or relate with money mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. I saw them doing that. For me, there was a lot of security risk. I didn't mm -hmm. like how, and there was so much noise that was happening. And they made it as if it's easy. I mean, mm -hmm. for me, I'm, I'm, I'm currently a master's, I have a master's degree in information mm -hmm. systems and business application. That took me seven years. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just seven years, but it was seven years of hard work. Oh, hard work. And how they went on and on making a mockery about professionals, that to me was an insult. Of you know, uh, some would go on on Facebook and saying it's just a piece of paper. And I'll say, if it's a piece of paper, why don't you have it? <laughs> you know, <laughs> if it's a piece of paper, everybody <laughs> should yeah. have yeah. it. Yeah. So it's how this thing was presented. And I didn't like it. There was so much noise. They make it as if it's so easy, hmm. you know, to make it and to make those millions. Yeah. And I rejected. I didn't reject necessarily the industry, but mm. I rejected the proposal. Okay. I didn't want okay. to be part of that. I didn't yeah. want to be part of the noise uh, without substance. Okay. Yeah. I think one important, um, you know, factor that I would like us to pick from this point is the person that's presenting the opportunity is mm. extremely important. They mm -hmm. can actually um, just put you off network marketing. Mm -hmm. Maggie, you are busy with your MBA and this woman tells you about network marketing, a couple of years later on, you Where get into network <laughs> marketing. Why? Uh, you know what? Um, what changed? You know, um, Dr. Wayne Dyer says that the highest form of ignorance is when you reject something you don't know anything exactly. about. Yeah. And that is exactly powerful. what I had done. Now, this is powerful. Repeat yeah. that again. The highest form of ignorance mm -hmm. okay. is when you reject something you have never heard anything about. Wow. 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 And um, so perception had made me reject, just like Vivian did, mm -hmm. you yeah. know. And today, you know, I say to people, if you are, you've been working like Maggie for more than 20 years and you have not paid off your house. Yeah, something's wrong. Hmm. Let's, let's say 10 years, for more than 10 years, yeah, yeah. you have not paid off your house. For more than 10 years, you have not, um, you cannot afford to say, let me pay my kids' fees up front. Mm -hmm. Those are the little things that we can do, right? Then something is wrong. Mm -hmm. You need to be looking for something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And I suppose that's when this thing came back to me to say, and I didn't go into network marketing saying that, oh, I want to be a network marketer. I just came in to say, oh, I'm interested in this product. And then when life hits and finances hit, mm -hmm. and then you look for alternative ways of making money, and you see that people are making it, you know, mm. without qualifications. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, yeah, that's someone the says, most interesting thing about a lot of the people. That's what I'm saying. Think. The same with me. Fate, mm. uh, fate led me into this. Mm. You know, um, my financial um, situation also led me into this. I mean, I saw people who didn't even have the same amount of qualification, exactly. the same amount of experience that I had making it. Exactly. And I mean, I've... Same as what you're saying. I've been in the banking sector for more than a decade. And I was still still getting together. And getting together. And that's when I said, hang ten, something is not right mm. here. You know, it's about time I start making research about mm. this profession. If this same profession that I'm looking down at is able to transform the life of those that I look down at, and me being a professional, I'm still not making it. Uh -huh. Something is not adding up here. Okay. There's something that is wrong. You come to a point where you start thinking about money generation, yeah. you know, and start thinking about why are we working? Why, why am I? Why am I running after this MBA? Yeah. What do I want to achieve? Mm. For me, salary. exactly, yeah, exactly. It yeah. came to that. So we need to start re-looking really at the way we look man at, at money, money yeah. and how we generate money. Because if you keep thinking the way you're thinking, you're going to be sitting with your... We're not saying don't get educated. We, we are where we are because of, of the ambition. education we have. Mm. And sometimes we make it in this industry as well because we can apply what we've learned. Mm. So true. You know, so we don't disregard that. But what we're saying is that for me, I'm still full-time employed. Mm -hmm. I'm not in this full-time. And but I know that it can, I've got options. Mm -hmm. I can choose to stay where I am in terms of my full-time employment or say I'm going to work myself out of that or I'm going to do both. That's the beauty of it as well. It's very mm -hmm. flexible. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say require you to leave where you are at. So it supplements your salary number one and then it eventually becomes your main salary. And then you've got... With me. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you both are in this IT profession. Um, 
you mentioned something very important. Mm -hmm. You said network marketing or the people who are in this profession. I mean, that's where you are as DV Vivian, where mm -hmm. you treat network marketing as a profession. A profession. Yeah. I mean, what makes it a profession? You know, um, for me, when I think in a layman's term, I mean, somebody that's sitting at home might be thinking, but what do you mean about this profession? To me, a profession is something that you probably have to go to school for. You need to acquire skills. You need to acquire knowledge, whether it be a technical knowledge application. And um, you know that over time, you will be able to move up the ranks and you stick in this profession. It could either be, you know, your whole entire life or you could be in this profession profession for five, ten years, but mm. that's what we know, or mm -hmm. at least that's my understanding of a profession. So to someone that's sitting at home, what do you both mm -hmm. mean when you talk about network marketing as, as a, a profession. profession? I'm looking at my phone because I want you I want to read from you what is the definition of profession. Okay. Okay. Because I think that's where we struggled as well when we looked at this and thought, hmm, huh, you know, that is not for us. Profession, let me read it from you, for you, from what I have gotten here. I had to check this mm -hmm. so that uh, you don't say it's coming from Maggie because now she's in network marketing. <laughs> now, she thinks she yes, can fool us into thinking. Everyone. Okay. Of course. Mm -hmm. It's a someone, right, who is engaged in a specified activity as one's main paid occupation rather than an amateur, number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, there's one that says... Uh, so it's someone that's mm -hmm. engaged in an yeah. occupation, in an yes. activity. In an activity. Yeah. Yes. It refers to anyone, anyone. who mm. earns their living mm. from performing an activity. activity that requires a certain level of education, skill, or training. Yeah. Can you just stop there? You're talking about education, education. skill, and training. training. <laughs> so. While I'm thinking about this network marketing as a profession, uh -huh. what comes to mind is I need education, I need training, and I need skill. Where do I get that from? The nice thing about it is you learn on the job. And while you are learning, you are getting paid. That's the bit about network marketing. It is so unique that you don't need it's a like lot of money. the nursing learning. and the teachers' colleges. You know, <laughs> the nice thing about network marketing is that everybody in the industry, whatever business you have joined, they mm. are rooting for you to succeed. Mm. They've got training programs. Mm. All these companies have got training programs, but you need to make it, you have to decide that I want to be a professional mm. and tap into those tools that are made available for you. To help you. Mm. And there's so much reading, there's so much material that, I mean, when I started as an IT consultant, what do I know about, about network marketing? Absolutely. But what I knew is that I need to succeed in this. What I knew is that I need to make money out of this. So it was about how am I going to do it? I went and looked for books. There's Eric Warre. I mean, I love him because he, <laughs> he, 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 he made me believe that I could do this, yeah. which means that anybody can do this. Mm. You don't need to have any level of education. We've got security guards who have turned to be uh, Profession. professionals. Mm. Who have, so it's about you applying yourself and deciding and choosing Mickey, that I want to do this. One thing that I pick from you is the drive. Mm. You wanted to succeed. Yes. Could that explain why some people fail in network marketing? Most definitely. I think we, it's, it's partly to do with how, when we are in network marketing, how we recruit people into the business. And um, so sometimes we create this impression, which leads to why, yeah, anyway, we create this impression that it's so easy. And I like Vivian kept saying that it is not easy. It is not easy. You know, we create the impression that it is so easy. You just come in and then tomorrow you're a millionaire. And when people get in there and they think, I don't, they think they don't need any skill. Hmm. I just need to speak to somebody and it will happen. And so from my mentor, Eric Worre, when you talk about posers, when you say, when I come in and I've got four people, if I speak to Vivian and Leseho and so-and-so, hmm. ah, guys, I'm going to make it big. And then Lise Vivian comes in, she loves my product, she buys it, and she sits back, she enjoys the product. She was not there about network marketing and referring people. Leseho does the same. Now suddenly I don't have a business. So that's a poser. You came in there thinking, eh, maybe, you know, yeah. and then you move to become an amateur if you go past that level and you're mm -hmm. still surviving. And then you're saying, okay, um, let me write down the number of people I know. And you start talking to the people. Some of them sign up, some of them don't. And then what happens? When they don't, your list, now all the people that you know around you, they run away when they see you. 
the store is going to sell to us mm -hmm. even it's going to the, and then your business collapses of course okay so there, there's another person but the ones who are making it are the ones who've decided that they're going to be professionals wow. those are the so, ones who now train and okay. get the skills that's awesome so from what you've just, just to, to summarize there there is a process and you first start as a poser mm -hmm. so, most of us but so some you, of us come you into attend training. a presentation you get all excited uh -huh. and you're really thinking i have got three friends that i'm going to invite into this network marketing mm -hmm. and then they will duplicate and yes. before and i know it case. i am <laughs> sd vivian i'm at a point where mm -hmm. i am a millionaire but you need to go past that stage you need to. Mm -hmm. and you need to become an amateur. Mm -hmm. And when you're an amateur, that's when you start building your contact mm -hmm. list. Mm -hmm. And I remember when we had this um, discussion the other day, you said something about you have to wake up in the morning or a, an author said he wakes up in the morning with a list of 20 people who are going to say no or yeah. something like that. Yeah. He says that what, cause some, a lot of people also in the industry struggle with rejection. Mm. Okay. So so they are scared to go out there and talk to people because they are scared that they'll say no. And when you get a lot of no's, you think, I'm not going to make it in this business. It's not meant for me. So he says that, that is Ray, and he, there's a book on it. I'll, I'll get it one day and I'll give it to you. So now he says he went out looking for no's. That is how he was training himself to mm. accept rejection. Yeah. So yeah. if you, you imagine this, going out and say every day, you know your idea that you want people to sign up. But you say, I'm going to go look for 20 no's. So in those 20 notes, there must be a yes somewhere. So imagine if you come back with one yes. Wow. You know, and so when you start to become a professional, really network marketing becomes a, your daily activities must mm. happen. If you want, if you ask Vivian how he, she's made it, the daily activities must happen, especially in the beginning. You know, someone said to me, when you're in network marketing, you have to realize that you're going to be working, 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 and then get paid. Work, 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 and then get paid. Then comes the... Pay, 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 work. Pay, wow. pay, pay, work. But people come in looking for the pay, pay, pay. pay, pay. pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe no work. But you know why? <laughs> because when we are recruiting them, that's what, that's what we're showing them. That's what we're presenting. We you are going to make so much money in such a small space. No, we, we present exceptions. Mm. Ah. And those are exceptions. I think you're right. We're presenting the results and not the process. Exactly. And that could be because we are desperate and we are scared to be rejected. Exactly. So it's easier for me to present results in that way. Uh, we know that our people, and that's a mindset, mm. our people, they love results, uh -huh. but nobody likes the process. And also to add on what you're saying um, in terms of the, um, why we're saying it's a profession, recruiting on its own is a skill. Exactly. No one is born a recruiter. Of course. Sales is also a skill. Mm. And it's a skill that you can learn over time. Communication mm. is a skill. Exactly. You understand? Yeah. And team building is it's also a skill. A skill. Mm -hmm. You know, that you can learn and acquire over time when you are serious and determined to make it in this industry. Exactly. So that's why the mistake we're making, we forgot to look at all those activities and the skills that are required to move those activities from point A to point B, mm -hmm. then we think is um, a fagima luzobona, a ponzi mm. scheme. Exactly. The poser. Yeah. I'm bringing my four hoping. I was like hoping. that as well. <laughs> you know, my career was the one mm. that required all those activities, but, but not network marketing. marketing. Exactly. And that's a sad part. Like, Our career, mm -hmm. you know, that is only paying us once a month, mm. require those, those activities and we're paying attention to them. But network marketing that is capable of changing your life, then we change. Why? It is our mindset. mindset. We need to be changing. And I'm glad that we are mm. at the point where we said, I know, guys, we need to find a different <laughs> way of doing this thing. Of because, course, I mean, when I was still with F&B, I knew that every morning I have to plan. <laughs> I, I mean, we, have, we had what we call a stand-up with the mm. team, mm. where we're checking up with each and every project uh, manager to find out how far are you. What is happening with your project? We did that every morning. So everyone knew that from eight, maybe to six, what activities that had to do, and they had to report back. Mm. But now you come to network marketing, the Soho has a team. Mm. All of a sudden, we don't do those things. Mm. But we want to see, to see the, the results. results. The results. Yeah. Something that you just mentioned, mm. SD Vivian Ponzi. Mm -hmm. I mean, I also, you know, my involvement in network marketing was also was fate but 
how does one differentiate between a Ponzi scheme and a network marketing? I mean, we, especially in South Africa, mm -hmm. we know with the mm -hmm. recent, yeah. you know, um, the pandemic information, um, mm. rather the information that's been ongoing about Ponzi scheme, people have lost money. Um, and now here we are, mm. we are telling people that they need to be part of some network marketing company where they're able to, mm -hmm. you know, get a, another stream mm. of income. But how do I know if what I'm getting myself involved in is a Ponzi scheme or a network or marketing? Or traditional network oh. marketing business. Yeah, you know, that is another thing that has really killed the reputation of network marketing. And I know that network marketers as well, when someone, when you start presenting your business mm. and you put down the structure on the compensation plan, people say, pyramid, Ponzi, mm. and then we freeze up. Okay. And then when you freeze up, you lose credibility. It's because we fail to understand the difference between the two. A Ponzi scheme, it is very clear that a Ponzi scheme, there is no product to generate money. Mm. Okay, so what they will say is that um, you need to put in so much money and then you need to recruit so many people to make money. Mm. But there is nothing that your money is going towards. There is no product or service provided by that money that you are putting forward. Mm. So if you were to be, if you were approached with a certain product or opportunity, business opportunity, and it reflects itself and we are saying it's a network marketing, MLM, multi-level marketing, so you'll hear different names. You need to ask yourself, is there a product that they are selling? And that product, can it be a product that adds value? Because you must go and resell mm. this thing. Mm. Mm. So you need, as, but people are so desperate for money that they would go into anything. anything. And that's why they, they collapse as well. Because now there is a Maggie, I'm being told, okay, the recent one that I know of is this WhatsApp one. I've been approached by a lot of people. If I were to look at it, because I use my own experience so when i go out here and tell you what i am saying it's because i have looked at it and i had to say is this a ponzi according to what i know or is it a network marketing opportunity a ponzi scheme there is no product so they said to me put money in and i said where's the money going no 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 you need to get more people and as those people come in you are mm -hmm. going to get a payout that's classic ponzi mm -hmm. yeah, that's it there is no product mm -hmm. so if so your earnings are dependent on, on people, people coming in. People coming. The and minute there are no people, it collapses. However, if it is a product that is... It adds value. That I adds like value. That. And like people that. are selling that product. Whether I recruit or not, I can go and resell the product and make money. Get your money back. I don't have it's to... It's not even getting your money back. Make you, money. you will be creating consumers. Exactly. That will be coming on daily or monthly basis looking for your product. For a product. So it's about... Mm. is the, the first thing is, is there a product? So now, not only is there a product, yeah. now you say, is it adding value? Yeah. Is it something that you can honestly, where not as let's say, honestly speaking, <laughs> sell it to the next person yes. and say, this is comfortably, comfortably, you know, yeah, sell course, it to the next person. Course, because, yeah. Yeah. And you're right, that, you know what, that is very important what you're mm. saying. Because we confuse people and say, just look for a product or service mm. and we mm. leave it there. Mm. But it's not the end. Is that the product that we're not Vivian? Yeah. Can you really go and sell and still face that person? Yeah. Mm. Let's not go and, mm. and because we want to make money mm, yeah. and trick people into doing things that you also know that are ah, Mona, mm. you know. So, but people as well, you know, when you are being approached, you need to be applying these things yourself. I'm hearing what you're telling me about your product. Is it going to add value to my life? Am I going to be able to sell it to the next person? Look at the company itself. What do you know about the leadership of that company? Do you resonate? with the culture, with what they're doing. So now you are looking at what you're choosing. Do you resonate with what, with what, what they're trying what to they're do? Doing them. Mm. Number three, look at the compensation plan. Because some people also say, ah, but maybe it's a push, push. Okay, look at the compensation plan. If I come in after the Seho, will I still make it? Mm. So I'm trying to make those decisions for myself. Once I've made it, then I'll say, okay, I'm going in. Okay. So true. Very because clear. it should be a compensation Very plan clear. that will allow you to carry the next person. Exactly. It shouldn't be... Um, a marketing plan or a compensation plan rather where it's only one person that makes it yeah and that's the reason why i've partnered with long reach i knew that i can be able to carry as well mm. multiple people with me it's not gonna be vivian who is just benefiting from this even the last person who's still joining wow. my business today that person 
will still benefit remember this is about building relationships as yes. well you yes. don't want people to just plug in because when you want that money mm. and they plug in and hang ten they cannot get to where mm. you are and you don't even help them i think the picture of network mm. marketing as well is just that knowing that for you to succeed you have to help the next That's person right. you can't go in yeah. with selfishness yeah, mm. you know there's so many benefits in network marketing you know number one the idea what you said that you can make it to the top you can make it to the top. We said our jobs are not getting us there. Network marketing can get you there. Mm. If you apply yourself mm. and you are not alone, you've got a team that's supporting you. You get free training. So really it is one profession where if you wanted to succeed, you, can. you would. Yeah. Okay. You cannot blame the next person if you don't succeed. Because mm. if we look at us here, within our own businesses, we, you all have the same product. Mm -hmm. You all have the same compensation plan. So true. She's making it, I'm not making it. Am I going to say, ah, but Vivian was not there for me as my upline. Hmm. The minute you start this, you make a decision, because it's your decision. You would have evaluated and said, okay, I like the product, I like this, I like this. You've made a decision, right? The minute you do that, also decide that I am building my own organization. It's not, you say, Vivian, thank you so much. I am so happy you introduced me to this. It's going to change my life. I will talk to you when I need help, but I'm going to run with this. Wow. When you start understanding what Long Reach is all about. You go in to read up what are they saying, and then I refer, you know what, I read about this and this and this, is this how it works? You know, so that Vivian, when she decides one day that I don't want to do this, I've met my goals, I just wanted to pay off my house, it's paid up, now I want to spend time with my kids. Can Vivian have the pleasure and opportunity to do that? She has met her goals. We all have different goals when we come into this thing. So don't look mm. on and hold on to Vivian and say, but she's my upline, now she's left me there, she doesn't care about me because she's made money. She's met her goals. Wow. Let it him, could just be that she it has could achieved be that. Goals. She has achieved what she wanted to achieve. So you haven't achieved what you wanted to achieve. That is why you have to own the business from the day you start. Wow. It is not about Vivian. And network marketing allows us to do that. Otherwise, you might as well be in corporate that she's my manager. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> While we're there, while we're there, oh, um, Vivian, yeah. you're one of the most popular um, words that you like saying, rather. It's um, what do you say? Network marketing is the is the only industry yeah. that is capable of of producing, producing millionaires yes. in, a with, short in a short space of mm. time. True. Why don't people get into this thing? Why? Perception again. Mm. It's perception. Okay. Uh, it's yeah. perception. Could it just be mm. that I don't want to become a millionaire? I'm okay. I go to work every day. Mm. I am a mother. Um, you know, I have got my own business that I am doing, or I have got my own job. I have my own career. Please, I don't want to become a millionaire. Why did you join us? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. The question is, mm -hmm. what happens if I am in this business, mm -hmm. conducting my MLM business mm -hmm. as a professional, but then I come across somebody who says to me, but I don't want to become a millionaire. What do I do? But, but remember, Lisefa, like um, she has said, our goals mm -hmm. are different. Mm -hmm. We're joining, or not joining, we are partnering with this organization mm -hmm. for different reasons. Mm -hmm. My reasons for doing long reach might not be your reasons. Mm -hmm. the, same, the same as mm -hmm. it might not be your reasons. So mm -hmm. our reasons are different. Mm -hmm. Yes, I wanted to be a multimillionaire. Mm -hmm. Which you have achieved. Exactly. But here I am standing in front of a prospect mm -hmm. who says to me, I hear you, but I don't want to become a millionaire. Okay, I think what is important when you are talking to prospects and when we are in network marketing that's what we need, be, we need to be looking at mm -hmm. you are trying to give them a solution to, to their, their problem, problem. Mm -hmm. so understand why are you coming to me yes you don't want to be a millionaire but what do you want do you just want to use our products and you're happy mm -hmm. or are you looking at making additional money but maybe just want 300 a thousand three thousand a month because mm -hmm. you are sick and tired of going to your sister every month and saying hey sis, can i have some more so understand what they want. Mm. Uh, Vivian spoke about relationships in this business. Mm -hmm. If you start building relationships with people in our teams, because I think I like your question because we find that you lose people in your team because you're trying to push to being a millionaire because you want to be a millionaire. Exactly. So now if you understand where they want to be, you meet them where they want to be. Their point of need. Because mm. otherwise what you're going to do is you're going to be always talking about, yeah, you guys are not making it, you're not working. And this guy's saying, but I'm making a thousand rands a month and I'm happy. I'm happy. A, yeah. And then they stop. Because yeah. you have made them feel inadequate, they are useless, they are failures. Mm -hmm. Then they stop participating. And what happens? Your entire business, your organization, 
collapse. You know, so you need to embrace everybody wherever they are at. Mm. Someone said that when you are running, a, when you've got a team in MLM, you need to create a culture that includes everyone. So true. And once you do that, you may have that one who said, I only wanted to make 3,000 a month. And I've made it. I've made it. And it's okay. And you are in there, but you mm. are embracing everybody. So, oh, guys, well done. And they think, but, oh, but why was I thinking I can only make 3,000 when I'm seeing those? Wow. They catch the spark mm. and they fly. You don't know who's going to fly when. Maggie, what I gather from you is the importance of self-development as a leader. Mm -hmm. yeah, so true. I mean, many mm -hmm. of us come in mm -hmm. this industry, we don't educate ourselves, mm -hmm. we don't get, you know, the proper skills. But for, from what I gather from you is as a leader, you have to focus mm -hmm. a lot on self-development so to. that you are you able to. to grow your business and embrace the different mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. that you have in the business. Maggie, we are facing the worst economic meltdown. South Africa has shared lots of jobs, and I mean, it's not just South Africa, globally. So, well, mm -hmm. so true. Why must I do network marketing today? You know, someone says that as we are in these times, um, there are opportunities for first-time millionaires to be created, not trust fund babies, not I've inherited this, but for first-time millionaires to be mm -hmm. created when people choose to engage themselves in the new and emerging industries and one of them is network marketing so true wow. network mm -hmm. marketing and the, if you depending on what you are looking into the business that you're looking into you are your own boss when you start the potential the earning potential is limitless when we are in corporate we are limited there's a scale yeah there's a scale yeah. and this is just one of those um, industries where your compensation is performance based mm. if you put in the work you will get the money so and the other thing is that even though things are so tough people are getting laid off yet they get some money and they want that money to stretch ne? Mm -hmm. and they hold on to it but guess what in six months time they might not have that money so now is the time to look at what network op network marketing opportunities are there that i could look into that resonates with me mm. that i can put this money in and decide to be a professional and make well this thing it. work for me. Mm, so true. Wow. Wow. That's that is awesome. awesome. That's awesome. MLM in, you know, during the global pandemic. That, that, is, that is the only way. To, and you know That's what? That's the first way. That is. Yeah. And yeah. Mm. the beauty of it is that, guys, you are not stuck in the same business, okay, the same opportunity. At the same time, I'm not saying jump around, try this one today. There's a lot of them. Hey, there's a lot of them. Mm. So you don't want to be trying this one today, that one tomorrow. Think about what you want to achieve. I think the three things that you have mentioned, you can repeat them again. I think those are very important. And that's where many people are missing it. Yeah. Can you mention the, those again? About how to spot one, how to identify the one that was yes. going to work for I you. I think that it's, is what should yeah. resonate with yeah. you. The product should the, get exactly. very in other mm -hmm. people's lives. Yeah, so it's the product, it's the business itself, the company that you are buying into, the leadership company. of that company, and the compensation plan. And you have to be comfortable with going out there and talking about your product. And the, another way of, you might not start off being comfortable, but the education comes in. Mm -hmm. Because most of the companies that are network marketing companies, they've got so much information because they wanted to go and sell their product. Maybe let me explain what network marketing is. Because maybe we're just going on. <laughs> people thinking, yeah, people are thinking, <laughs> what is this? So network marketing is a professional that has been around for more than 50 years. It's nothing new. So mm -hmm. if you think people are thinking pyramid, Ponzi, no, no, no. Network marketing, once you have identified that thing that works for you, it is just a way of companies choosing to market their product mm -hmm. by going directly to their to customers consumer. and say, customer, can you sell my product? So mm -hmm. there is nothing funny about that. It is a marketing strategy that, number one, word of mouth works best for any company. If you look at companies that are doing very well and have done so in a short space of time, it's because they're doing net direct selling with yeah, network marketing. Yeah. Because powerful. otherwise they could be spending the money that they are spending through the compensation plan mm. by paying for, for advertising, advertising. Yes. for shelf space yes. at the big retail shops. Mm. So but understand instead that. Instead, they mm -hmm. choose to partner with consumers who will obviously get the products to and then they and make beside, money. Them, and, yeah. and beside, they've understood the power of word of mouth. Word of mouth, yes. That is more powerful. That is exactly it, mm. word, word of, of mouth. mouth. 
you you are a glorified salesperson who gets a lot of money. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's you know, it. I once I once uh, read from Dale Carnegie, and mm. at the time he said, if you were to look in companies that are sales driven. Actually, some of the salespeople might be earning more than the CEO of a company. Which is true. Mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. it's extremely important at the same time that one understands that through selling, you can make a lot of money. You can. Mm -hmm. But you see, people think that they're not sellers. But you've got the skill. You can learn the skill if you wow. want to do it. Wow, this has been mm. extremely awesome. Unfortunately, we have come to the end of our, uh, to the end of our talk. Um, as the Vivian, just as we close, what would you like to say to someone at home who has given up, you know, this, I'm posing the same question mm. to you, who has given up on their dream because MLM didn't work for them. They got into this industry. They were promised that they would become mm. millionaires within a short space of time. Mm. Their upline has left. They cannot mm. recruit. They are stuck with products, hopefully not. Mm -hmm. um, and, and where do I go from here? Mm. Here are women, successful women, mm. educated, smart women. I mean, we're not talking about, mm. you know, we're talking about women who are smart, who are educated, yet they are flourishing in this industry. Um, what have you got to say to that person that's sitting at home? Um, Doc, um, Maggie, thank you so much. This, this has been powerful. I'm also learning and inspired at the same time. What I'd like to say is there's still hope. Uh, and I've really enjoyed what Maggie has said. Yeah. And I'm glad that it's coming from her, you know. A um, different A different person. Mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once we understand that this is a profession and we understand what is a profession, the activities that are involved, mm. it makes daily. it easier. Daily. 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 It makes it easier. Mm. Do you understand? For people to make it. Mm. And once we understand that we are glorified salesmen, then it also makes it easier for people. Because now, like what Meg is saying, many they think there's something funny mm. that is happening. I'm even scared sometimes to write <laughs> network marketing. I don't want to lie. Yes, it's true. <laughs> On social media, I'd rather say entrepreneur or something. Mm, mm. Because I'm, um, you know, you worried. You don't want to be misinterpreted mm. but mm. now i'm glad maggie you touched on those things mm. and once i'm telling you we understand that and we change our mindset it becomes easier mm. it's the same thing as with coding mm. Mm. people made it i remember when i was doing my first year we were all scared mm. of java mm. we were all scared of c plus mm. plus or cobalt nobody wanted to touch mm. any of those languages mm. but until <laughs> someone made it easier mm. so it's the same thing as network marketing i hope we have mm. simplified it for you. Wow. It okay. is a profession mm. that has activities in mm. it, and those activities can be acquired over time. Mm. And once you learn and acquire those activities, you'll do this with pride. Mm. I am telling you now, let's say, you will even go to your meeting with your suit mm. because you will start respecting this. Exactly. As a profession. exactly. You understand mm. that you won't even shy away from selling. I see. I see people shying away from that. When mm. I was still building systems from the bank, I remember we were running this project called um, FNB Connect. Most of our sales agents who sold the smartphone, some of them were earning more than us mm. through sales. Mm. I'm telling right. you that. Mm. I can yeah. testify to that. Mm. Because that project was the in thing, the first thing that we launched into the market. And mm. everyone wanted a smartphone in mm. FNB Connect. And our sales agent... I'm talking about a sales agent who's just dialing and reading a pitch that has been mm. written by a manager. They earned more than their team leaders, their manager, even the IT executive. Wow. wow. Powerful. Yeah. Sure. Wow. You know, and as, as we've been talking, thinking about when you said, I shy away from saying network marketing. Yeah. I've found that with myself as well, now that I have made it my point to be in this as a mm. professional, for the first time, I, I, when someone asked me yesterday, what do you do? I said, I'm an IT consultant who's also a network marketer. Wow. Wow. And it took me a long time to get to that, to I that place. I didn't want to be called a network exactly. as well. When you call me a network, I'll be like, hey, I'm an uh, analyst. Mm. I felt, uh, no, I didn't want to be associated with that. And they were like, but you are in long reach. I'm like, yes, but I'm not a networker. Mm. All right, I'm a businesswoman, I am an <laughs> IT or whatever, until I understood this. Right. this own it, and own it. Can you own and it. And yeah. to that person who has given up, I'm going to say, what was your why? Yeah. What was the reason you joined this in the first place? It was not about your upline. It was not about the product. It was about changing something 
in your life. So what makes people succeed in this is having a why that is big enough to make you get up even when you don't feel like selling that product, even when your upline is not available, for you to get up and go find the information yourself. So go and revisit your why. Why must this thing work for you? Why you cannot afford for it to fail? And then get back onto it and decide to be a professional and get the skills they are. You, anybody can learn these and you can succeed. Wow. wow. Thank you so much, ladies. I must say, I honestly feel that we haven't covered everything. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that one day, Maggie, we will invite you again in the studio where we can unpack some of the mm -hmm. some of the, the, the issues related to network marketing. On that note, I would like to thank you all for your time. It has been a true honor and a privilege to have your attention during this time. Um, SD? Yeah, thank you so much uh, to our viewers. We do not take this for granted. Um, long reaches, thank you so much for your time. And Doc? I really appreciate you bringing Maggie here. Um, she has really added value. I enjoyed this session. Thank you. Thank you. God bless.